Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda, and I'm happy that you're here today to hang out with me in my kitchen. It is summer, it is happening, the sun is finally coming out, there is a fort being built over here, along with my um, laundry rack. The dog is already begging me to take him for a walk, which will happen shortly. I just need to get this video done now while Winnie is at swimming lessons with Curtis. We have another full day ahead of us, but I wanted to share this with you guys. So if you've ever searched, like just Google searched for something like sunscreen, um, food, any, any like supplements, or um, if you're curious of like a certain brand that you just heard of and you're like, where can I buy that? Um, you put it into your Google search and you'll get like some options of places to buy these things from. Normally for me, amazon.ca comes up lickety split. It's like one of the first things. Um, sometimes I'm um, offered Canadian Tire, um, Staples, Business Depot, uh, Walmart, and also, I think it's because I'm Canadian because this is a Canadian brand. Honestly, not sure if they ship anywhere else. Um, this is not sponsored at all. This is legit. I bought it. Okay, I went to well.ca, placed my first order, and it is here. Um, one of the things that I was looking for in particular, which I was Google searching, trying to find out where I could buy it, is BioSteel. Um, BioSteel is... It's like one of these like drink packs that you dump into water and it gives you electrolytes and stuff. And it's like basically no calories, no sugar, whatever. Um, but it tastes good and it has that like potassium and electrolytes in it that actually help you to um, have less muscle cramps. And for me, I'm on Ozempic and one of my side effects is I feel pukey sometimes. And... BioSteel actually helps that for me. No one recommended me to do this. This is just my own knowledge and my own trial and error that has led me to this point. Um, I basically take a BioSteel every day. Um, and the days that I haven't done it, like the days we've been out of the flavors that I like, I'm like going to town the very next day because when I feel pukey, it's kind of the only thing that helps me. So... Anyways, let's see what I bought. I ordered this a few days ago. I also was going to order off the BioSteel website because they do have a Canadian website. Um, but what I wanted was um, the little packages like this because there are th new ones that I want to try that I don't know if I like them enough to get them in the big pack. Um, you may have been shopping with me when I... Yep. Okay, thousands of things. You have to do just got to before. <laughs> I have a brain problem, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I bought this at Walmart thinking it was the same as this. It looks similar, right? It's not. This is called White Freeze. And this is my favorite one, the blue one. What is it called? Blue Raspberry Flavor. This trumps this by a lot. The White Freeze, it's... It's like teasing you because when you take a drink, you're like, oh, I think, I think this is going to be good. And then it's a quick, no, not good. Really like murky aftertaste. Not so great. Um, so I want these in other flavors because I want to try more without spending, you know, $60 on a big tub. I'd rather pay $7.99 to get a little pack of like trial size ones like these. You can also get bigger packs like these too. These are definitely better, more convenient for when you're on the go. Um, but I love this one so much that once we figure out which ones we want to have in the big bin, I will absolutely buy the big one, big one, <laughs> absolutely buy the big one because then, um, it's less plastic, less waste, you know, that kind of thing. So let's get into this box. I know I bought BioSteel. And then there's a couple other things that I've been intrigued on from this website before, but I've just never clicked add to cart. I've just never clicked pay for my package. I'm, I'm committing to this. 
here's my shipping information, here's my credit card, send this to me please. Cause I've, I've done this before, but then I've always just kind of talked myself out of it. But right now I am on a very unfortunate health journey. Um, I still don't have a proper diagnosis with what is going on in my brain. Um, there are two options and both options aren't great. So I'm just taking everything day by day and doing the best I can to get into my prime health as, as much as I can right now, because we aren't prime. <laughs> we are not. Um, but I bought some things that would help me along with that. I am on Ozempic. So my portions are already smaller. Um, and I don't feel hungry all the time, but because I have an eating disorder and because I am going through some scary times right now, my coping mechanism for something that's happening to me right now, um, is eating, is food, is like to make myself feel better the only way I know how. And I don't do drugs. <laughs> so I do, I do hugs, not drugs. And I do you know, nachos and uh, Reese's peanut butter cups and ice cream. Um, and if I keep gaining weight, I am going blind. Yeah. But we'll just talk about all this in a different video because this <laughs> is supposed to be stuff that will make this journey a little bit easier on me and help me to have something to grab for um, when we're heading out the door because we're heading out that door every day, okay? Between baseball, soccer, um, Skylar's work, swimming lessons, open swim, plus anything we wanna do as a family, we're out. So I wanted some things to grab for me because when we do a picnic lunch, like of course we got like the mini carrots, the um, the mini cucumbers chopped up, um, hummus, cheese sticks, and then we always bring like chips, something like that, like veggie straws, uh, popping candy, that's not what I'm thinking, popped corn, okay. But then the kids will always have like Doritos and other things like that. And I just, I, I don't want my kids to think that I'm opting out of all summer activities because of what's going on with me because I very well could. I very well could, um, but I'm, I'm not going to disappear. I'm going to keep being me. And even though <laughs> we're up against some shit right now, YOLO, you got one life. Well, I got a second one too, but I don't wanna go there yet. But I just, I still wanna be the best mom and the best wife. And I truly hope that I can continue being me. I still have some procedures coming up and um, some things that will not allow me to be me for a bit. So when I am able to be me, that's who I'm gonna be and I'm fun. <laughs> I'm fun, okay? and. I don't want to feel left out of anything if I can physically go. So this is the box. This is the box of goodness. I remember that I bought BioSteel and I remember that I bought some, maybe some chocolate peanut butter cups, but like a healthier version maybe. So let's dig in and let's see. Already, Oh, I forgot about that. Already, I'm liking what I see. I really am. This is cool. Okay, they, thanks for the order. Well.ca has been helping Canadians lead happier and healthier lives since 2008. We're Canadians, or we're, sorry, we're Canada's, <laughs> we're Canada's online destination for health, beauty, and baby products with a real commitment to green and natural products. We are Wellness Delivered. 
Log in to your Well.ca account to view your order details or refer to your email confirmation. There we go. Special gift for me. Oh no, girl, we're not doing, this is one of those friggin' like meal planning. Hello Fresh, what's this one called? Good food, mm, I can't, I know. Oh look, oh cute, okay, thank you Keith. I just flipped this over and look, Keith wrote his name in a happy face. Shout out Keith, you did a good job. This package it looks amazing. Um, well that's yay, you make life more beautiful. Vous raison la vie plus belle. Merci. <laughs> Thank you, Keith. Shout out. Um, okay. I don't even know where to start. I'm, I'm, I haven't eaten anything yet today. It's almost lunchtime. I am, because I'm on Ozempic and because I am on strict problems, <laughs> like, I, it's, it makes it so hard to not like tell you guys exactly what's going on, but I want to know first. You know what I mean? I I want to be able to like, I can't even talk about it without getting upset. So thank you for giving me time. And we will talk about it when we can. Um, so I'm not going to be taste testing everything. My idea for a lot of things that I bought were just something for me to grab and go. Because last night, for instance, we were... I was at the pool with Winnie basically all day. Curtis brought the boys to Sussex, which is 45 minutes away. So Curtis brought them to the game. Cooper had a baseball game a little bit early because Cooper always has to be there early. You know this, if you're a parent with kids in sports, you have to be there 45 minutes early before any games. That's the way it is. You never want to be late. Mm -mm. That, Especially if you're taking Cooper because he will make you feel bad. <laughs> okay, like without even saying anything though, he won't. It's like, I, I am someone, I feel people stress. So Cooper is never late. It's not an option. Okay. I can't afford to feel other people's stress. I have enough of my own. Okay. Damn empathic behavior. Um, so Curtis brought Skylar and Cooper and him to Sussex in the car. And Winnie and I were at swimming. We came home from swimming, brushed her hair out, got her changed, grabbed a bunch of food, um, threw it in a lunchbox. Actually, let me show you which lunchbox we threw it in. The most adorable lunchbox of all time. It's a Barbie camper. Even Skylar brought this to work one day. Very cute. Um, but yeah, we filled that with veggie straws, cheese sticks, um, a Honeycrisp apple, and she had some extra things too, of course. Um, but that's what I had. Veggie straws, cheese sticks, Veggie straw, <laughs> veggie straw, cheese sticks, a Honeycrisp apple, and I also brought almonds, but they did not taste okay. And I yesterday was my injection day for Ozempic, so sometimes foods just taste wrong to me, and it might be the food, it might be the injection, so I could not eat the almonds because I think I had like four, and I was like, these are disgusting. So that's all I had. Um, but I would have loved to have one of these things to grab and head out the door with them. So I don't want to try all these right here. Um, maybe what I'll do is um, post shorts or TikToks when I try a new food. And I'll share it with you guys that way. Because I know it is fun. I know I love a taste test myself. I do. But I really want these for my life and I don't want to have them like already opened and just waiting for the day that I choose them. And if I take one bite now and then save the rest for later, you understand what I'm saying. Um, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You guys also, let me tell you, this is why I enjoy well.ca. This is my first time buying from them. Okay. But this is why I enjoy shopping online, especially as a bigger girl. I don't enjoy shopping at the health food stores, the health food sections, because when I'm walking my over 200 pound ass through that health and wellness section, I feel like, and this is me, so like, please don't say you need to feel this way. This is my unfortunate life, it doesn't have to be yours, but I feel like an imposter, I do. I feel like 
people see me, they know I don't belong. Um, or they know like, girl, you got a long way to go. Like, and then I feel like people are watching what I pick out and judging it and stuff. And I know I say like, don't worry about what people think of you and stuff, but you still will. Obviously, like it does your brain still work, then you're still going to have these thoughts. So without any judgment whatsoever, I just went through, I like put some things in the search bar and found some things, new brands I've never tried before. Um, and I got like 200 and some dollars worth of groceries. Like this is literally groceries. So I know I talked a lot. I just had to catch you up to speed. I hope I did that. And I hope I'm not scaring you because please don't be scared. We, I, my doctor is fantastic. Um, my neurologist is fantastic. And I know he is going to do the absolute best by me. I know it. I know he will. And I have faith that this is a bump in the road. Um, I hope that I won't lose my vision. That is, um, a definite possibility. So anyways, okay, let's just get into it. Right. Okay. I don't want to stress anyone out. I don't want to stress myself out and that's what I'm doing right now. So let's get into the fun stuff and see what will Miranda be eating for the summer? This is exciting. And honestly, we're going on, I just, just thinking of this now, we're going on a massive road trip this summer and <laughs> knock on wood, my health allows it. Okay. Um, but that is the plan. We are going to Toronto. We are driving. We are going to um, Canada's Wonderland. Uh, Blue Jays games at the Sky Dome. We're going to Niagara Falls and then we're going to cross over to New York and we're going to come back home through the States and we're going to go to some beaches and we're going to go shopping in the States, which is my favorite, favorite, favorite. But these will be great to take on the road. So I... I will order more if I need more, especially once I realize which ones I really enjoy the best because these are going to be a lifesaver for when I am at Canada's Wonderland and I really don't want to eat a hot dog, okay? These are gonna come in clutch. It's not gonna make me feel good. Trust me, you eat something nasty like that while you're on a cook. <laughs> I have a really bad migraine right now too. So, but those aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Um, I, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Oh, when you're on Ozempic, if you eat something very greasy, you will regret it for days, for days. And it does not feel good. So I know if you're on it, you've probably already tried <laughs> and you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I don't want to feel sick. I mean, more sick than I already am. Um, so I'm hoping these will come in clutch. I've never heard about this brand, True Bar, but I will tell you the pictures, they're elite. And I was like, daydreaming about donuts bar. Let's buy that. For the nutritional info, for one bar, it is 190 calories, 8 grams of fat, 23 carbs, 11 grams of fiber, we like that, and 12 grams of protein. There is some sugar in here, 8 sugars, okay? Um, sugar's not actually the devil. <laughs> it's not what's going on, um, but a little bit of sugar goes a long way with me now. I'm excited to try that. I also got Salty Licious Almond Love. Okay. Oh, keep the fun coming. Look at this. Smooth Fudger Peanut Butter. Are you kidding me? And do they all, like, I find a lot of the times when they do these bars, they try to make the nutritional um, facts very similar. So, again, 
um, 190 calories, eight grams of fat, 23 carbs. Okay, this one has less fiber, only has two grams of fiber, but still 12 grams of protein, right? And that's what we need. Um, this one is, get in my belly, PB and jelly. <laughs> I love this. Okay, so it's simply made with peanuts, pea protein, and cassava manok, which is a plant, I think, something like that. So cool, true bears. Did I get those four? I don't know if there's any more in there, but let's just keep doing this. This, I'm so excited. Strawberries are my favorite, you guys. This is a Power Crunch Protein Energy Bar, 13 grams of... 13, oh geez, you guys. 13 grams of protein, five grams of sugar, and it's called strawberry cream. I'm, I, 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 I am gonna try something in this video. This might be it. It feels like a wafer cookie, like it feels so light. How, is there protein in this? Please tell me there is. 13 grams of protein, yes. Um, 220 calories, so that's fine. Even fat, I'm not scared of fat, 15 grams of fat, so what? The protein is what I need because I can't eat a lot anymore and I'm used to eating a ton. So I need protein, a little fruit, a little veg, and we're good. Um, ooh, another one of these. Ooh, this sounds good. This is the Power Crunch S'mores. Sounds good. Um, I saw this one and I didn't even, I wasn't gonna buy it, but then I was like, Curtis may wanna try this. M&M protein bar? Who knew they were doing this, right? This has 15 grams of protein, 15 grams. I think Curtis is gonna try that. Yes, I do. And then this one, he won't eat this because it's got peanut butter in it, but your girl deserves a treat every now and again. Maybe I'll save this for the trip, you know? Um, this has 217 calories. You guys know what? They're very similar. Very similar. Um, nine grams of sugars. Those have eight. Uh, 19 grams of protein. Snickers. High protein. I think it's going to be good. What do you think? Um, speaking of what do you think, this is a think bar, um, 20 grams of protein and it is a high protein peanut crunchy butter bar. Perfect. Peanuts. If, if you're noticing a trend, I am a peanut butter queen. I love it. I love peanuts. I love peanut butter. I like just the taste of peanut butter and chocolate together. <sighs> It's just, like, it's one of my favorites. Strawberries and cream, chocolate and peanut butter, Miranda and Curtis. We all go together, baby. <laughs> okay, let's try some granola, shall we? Again, I just need some things because when I'm home, I can make myself a salad. I can cook myself a chicken breast and make my veggies, but you can't do that when you are zipping and you're running in the door and running back out the door. So... And you guys, I have in the last couple months, I've done one or two things when I am zipping back and forth. I will either just eat at McDonald's. I won't eat a lot. I usually get like a junior chicken burger and that's it. And that's fine. Um, but I will either do that or I won't eat it at all. So either way, it's like I'm not getting enough food. So... Um, I gotta have more foods that I can take with me. And it's been such a long time since I've tried different healthy foods and I feel like they're getting better. Like they know what we like and n real food tastes good. So it's not that hard to screw it up. It shouldn't be. Um, this is oats and honey, toasted coconut granola. Awesome. Um, it's got some sugars. So what? Um, it's got some protein. Way to go. Good job. You did it. Anyways, I, I've tried the Kind brand quite a few times, and I've liked basically everything that I've tried. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the Quest cookies. I actually think I've tried the Quest cookies and not liked them before, but I don't think I've ever tried the peanut butter 
Quest cookies. Um, and when I'm considering this, this is not really a cookie. Like this is my meal. Grab a banana to go with it and a very hydrating beverage, maybe some nuts on the side as well. Then that's a meal. This is not a cookie. If I want a cookie, I will have a cookie because I cannot restrict all foods because I will binge like crazy and my health is so important to me right now and I can't do that. So I am eating smaller portions of everything, but these are what I need really to just have something that I can grab. There's always something for the kids here. I also have to take care of me, you know? Okay. I, I know some of you moms are like, yes, you do, honey. I do too. <laughs> um, this, I've tried this brand before. This is the Enjoy Life brand. Um, I used to always buy their chocolate chips, but this, I have never seen this package. I have never tried these little minis. So we got the chocolate, wow, my dyslexia is not into this word. Ch chocolaturiz, chocolaturiz crunch and dark chocolate chocolate noir oh chocolat 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 um curtis calls these mocklet so if you watch friends that means curtis doesn't like these but i do so i'm happy to have them have them with little pretzel you know little pretzel maybe a little uh one of my fair life nutrition protein drinks love them i have two and a half cases right now um, they're a must. I drink them almost every day and they're so helpful. So bio seal. Let's see. What do we got here? Ooh. Okay. So this is Skylar's favorite. So he's going to be so excited that I bought these. So Skylar's favorite, my favorite, and this is a new flavor. This is peach. I will try this in this video. I will. Cause I am dying to try it. They also have watermelon available now and I want it so bad I want it so bad but right now the only way I can find it is in the big 60 to 90 dollar jar and I don't want to spend that much money on something if we don't even know if we like it or not you know what I mean and also I almost forgot about these guys I was also looking for one of my friends Becky What's up, girl? Um, she told me um, that the pink lemonade bio steel is elite, that it is the best. So we did it. We got the bottles. Um, I wanted to buy a pack of these of the pink lemonade, but they were all sold out. Um, but these were actually on sale. I think it was like $8 or something for four. So I'm going to put these in the fridge. My boys and I are going to try these. Maybe I'll get Curtis to try one too. Maybe we'll have like a little family taste test at the end of this video, right? I'm excited. I love lemonade and this is pink lemonade. So stay tuned. We're going to try it later. Those are in the fridge and I got these lentil chips. These are so good. Cooper, Winnie, and I love them and we can buy them here at Superstore. Really the only reason that I bought them in this box is because I wanted Winnie to be able to say there was something that she liked in the box. So that's great. Cause the boys are gonna like all this bio steel and everything and she won't. So got that basically just for that reason. Ooh, 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 these look so good. These are Justin's mini milk chocolate peanut butter cups. These are a treat. They are a treat. They are just the same as a Reese's peanut butter cup. The only difference is they may be made with a little bit of better ingredients, but these are not protein snacks. <laughs> these, I don't even think there's, okay, three grams of protein per three cups. So that, no, that doesn't count. I just wanted to have something um, as a treat. I know I can still eat races if I need to. It's just, I have a really hard time stopping with that food. Um, but I, I know I can't restrict anything. It's just, I just want to have stuff that makes me feel good right now. 
and having all of these options for me makes me feel good. So that's why I did it. Um, made good. We've, we've tried a few things from this brand. They sell some things at Costco still, but I've never seen strawberry granola bars. I, I hope they're good because like this is just, and I know granola bars aren't like big on protein either. It's really just a little snack, but I just, I would like to just have a little snack sometimes when I'm feeling snacky and look made good granola bars, strawberry. <gasps> I love it. What are these Johns? Oh, <laughs> Oh, sorry. I promise. I'm okay. <laughs> these are the soft baked breakfast ovals. I've never seen these on any grocery shelf here in the Maritimes whatsoever, but these had five star reviews on the website. And I thought this is a grab and go. Absolutely. So I don't know if there's protein in these as well. Not really. Just, a, just three and 230 calories. But like, obviously you can amp it up like one of these with my um, protein shake or um, like nuts. What else do you get protein from, guys? <laughs> um, you know, maybe like bacon. Not too much, though. Um, but anyways, I'm excited to give those a try because breakfast is a weird meal in my life right now. The way that I'm eating, um, I usually don't eat three meals. Normally, I will have like two meals and then like a snack. Um, I don't start eating now until like lunchtime. But most of the time, I just pretend that's breakfast. Um, but anyways, I'm eating totally weird and it's totally out of character for me. But I'm rolling with it because it's working and this is what I need to do. What do we got here? Oh, we got my, I got myself a cookie. Damn, girl. This is a soft baked cookie. Snickerdoodle. Okay. For when life gets you down. These I'm excited about. These are another breakfast choice or snack, whatever. Um, peanut butter, whole grain, source of fiber, gluten-free breakfast, Dijonet. Let's see, there's protein in these. Oh, five grams of protein. So that's a little bit, you know. Um, carbs aren't crazy. Fat's there, that's okay, it's healthy, we need fat. Cool, and what are these? Oh, these look fun. These look fun. I've never seen either of these on our shelves here in the Maritimes. I find our stores will stock the Enjoy Life brand and any like healthier brand um, in the natural food sections. Um, they will stock them, but they will only rebuy them if people buy them right away. So like they'll bring new products out and there's a chance you'll miss it and no one bought it, so it's gone now. You know, they had to reduce it or whatever and now it's gone. So. I'm assuming that like bigger places in Canada, like in Ontario and out West and everything, they probably have way more options. Here in the Maritimes, we keep it real easy, okay? And we're, there's not a lot of health nuts out there. The majority of people, I would say, they're hunting, fishing, and loving every day. And I love that for them. That's, it's the way of life down here, man. Like, slow down. It's okay, get a beer, sit down, put your feet up, put on a little Travis Tritt and calm your titties, okay? <laughs> but I do feel like we miss out on some things that, um, you know, other places may have, but that's okay, that's okay too. And we can always make our own, right? Um, what is this? Oh my goodness, right! Hello, hello! Well.ca also sells one of my pimple issue thing. Like I still have acne. I'm 37. I'll be 38 in a handful of days. My birthday is coming right up. Um, and yeah, I still, I think everyone still gets blemishes. I just think 
growing up as a teenager, I thought it wouldn't be me. I thought I'll be fine once I get like 30, I'll be 30 flirty and thriving with not a pimple. Lies you tell, okay? They're still here. Um, so I have been using this. This is the Origins Super Spot Remover. I've been buying it off Sephora for, I wanna say like a year maybe. I love it. It actually does work. It really does help reduce my pimples when they are looking nasty. It like calms them down. It burns a little bit and that means it's working. <laughs> Okay, yes, so I did just buy like a ton of stuff at Sephora on the island um, a few weeks ago. I spent, I'm not even gonna tell you the number because it was outrageous, but I bought a bunch of stuff for myself, a bunch of stuff for Luthia, and y'all, then they went and put my favorite purple shampoo on sale at Sephora for like 50% off. So I got another Sephora box coming in the mail right now. Um, but I knew I was running out of my origins. So they had the size that I've been buying all along at Sephora, but I think it was a little bit of a better price at well.ca. Oh yeah. And it's the exact slippery little villa. It's the exact same size as the one that I use. I know it doesn't look like there's a lot in there, but a little goes a very long way. It's like a gel. It's not a water, it's a gel. So you get a little bit out and then you just put it where you need it. But then this was a smaller version. So I thought I'm, I'm gonna get both because this comes with a set. And I am really enjoying this brand and I feel like it is time for me to explore it a little further. So this is the Hello Detox Meet the Pore Purifying Trio. Welcome to New Brunswick. Is that the same damn size? What the hell? They actually are the same dance. I thought, because this was such a good deal, I thought this would have had to have been a smaller size. <laughs> well, I'm stocked up now for four months, maybe five months. They do go a long way. And I do have a lot of facial problems. <laughs> um, so this is... A clear improvement, active charcoal mask to clear pores. Fantastic. And then one more left. Checks and balances. Frothy face wash. <laughs> it's the pressure in my brain, you guys. It's not my fault. Froth, froth. <laughs> Frothy face wash. There we go. Okay. That's going to be fun to try. I'm totally going to use these tonight. And, oh, there's two more things here. These must be like, a, um, like, you know, the, you know, they do at Sephora. They let you pick um, some like surprises, little treats. I don't know if I picked these or if they picked them for me, but I'm into it. Um, total eye lift and Clarence Paris uh, Multi-Intensive Jour. Creme Lip Répand Plouté Anti-Ride Tu Peau. Oh, I should have just read the English side. <laughs> they put the French first. So, and normally here, uh, maybe it's because it's from Paris, so that makes sense. But um, here, where I live, we live in the only bilingual province. And I, every time I say that, people get butt hurt over it because, well, we speak French too. Guys, we are the official only bilingual province in Canada, New Brunswick. We have two official languages. You will not find that in any other province. Quebec is French. Right here, we're franglais. Okay, we speak both en français et en anglais. That's what we do here. So here, they always put the English first and then the French. Actually, people won't even send us products, like companies won't send products here 
because we require for it to have French and English. That's it. in all of Canada, it's products are required to have both French and English on packages. So anyways, I think in the States, do you guys do um, French or no, you do English and Spanish, I think. I think so. Anyways, um, you didn't answer me. So <laughs> this is super restorative day cream. Lifts, replumps, targets, wrinkles, and all skin types. Well, fan flipping tastic. That's the haul, you guys. I feel like we did really good. And I am choosing to try this bar right now. This is the one I'm most excited about, to be honest. I know that Snickers High Protein Bar is going to be good too, but like... That's a treat. So I just, this one feels nice and light and I haven't had anything yet today. So I'm gonna try it. Oh, it looks like a wafer, you guys. It really does. It smells so good. I love strawberry. It smells like strawberry ice cream. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> this is so good. It is like a wafer cookie. Look at it. It's like a wafer cookie with like a very light chocolate. Wow. Mm-hmm. I know like really funky aftertaste or anything like that at all. Wow. This will be a rebuy. I'm gonna have to like start making a list of which ones to rebuy and which ones to never look at again. Because <laughs> they can go either way. You guys know this. But thank you guys for hanging out with me and you know, shooting the shit for a bit. I am going to bring you guys back when we are ready to try the bio steel. I got it, I got it. Yeah, he's not closed, Mom. Hey, babe. Yeah. I bought you something. Me? Yeah, it's just a treat for you to try. Okay. I've never seen it before. An M&M &M protein bar? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Are you gonna share it? Try it too? I'll try. I'll try a bite of it. You want me to get those gains? Well, it'll be good for you to bring in your lunchbox. You give this. Smells delicious. Does it? You look delicious. <laughs> Did anybody notice? <laughs> Holy smokes. That shirt's something else. I'm distracted. Jasper is too. Hey! <laughs> it's chocolate. You can't have it. You can't have it, buddy. I'm so good. You want to try it? Mm hmm. It's really good. Wow. Usually protein bars have kind of a weird taste, but it's good. Yeah, you can definitely taste the protein chunk in it right here. Mm -hmm. It's it's not it's not an M&M's bar though. Well, it is M&M's in it. The protein Not enough. It's not like a treat. Mm -hmm. It's just like a protein bar. Something I would eat. Somebody. It's a decent protein bar, though. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't taste horrible. We've had really bad ones before. Mm -hmm. It just isn't a super treat. Yeah. Maybe favorite. if you had, like, a handful of M&Ms and you shoved them in your mouth first and then took a bite <laughs> of that. Yeah. How did I get so fat? I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I um, want him to try my favorite one. Yeah, the aftertaste of that bar. I'm not totally set. So okay. Well, it. this one is a 10. So this is, is it another protein bar? Yep. Protein bar, strawberry flavored, wafered. Now, Chris doesn't love the strawberry flavor, but it's a wafer cookie, and he does like that. If you got a vanilla one of those, I would love it. Right? Do you have a vanilla one? I don't right now. I have a s'mores. You want to try s'mores? Yeah, I'll give that a go. I think we need to buy, see if they have vanilla. Because if they do, we'll buy some of those for you. For you to, uh... <laughs> what was that? It's, it's bad. <laughs>
That's pretty good. Is it? Mm -hmm. I would uh, totally like to try the vanilla. The vanilla, yeah. Because the cream in it is so good. Like, it's so close to the Vortman's. I can't concentrate on anything right now. Everyone knows exactly where you're looking. And do you blame me? <laughs> you guys have blanched. I'm going to try the peach bio steel. I am a girl who loves Tim Hortons. And growing up back in the 90s, we had the best peach drink. It was a fountain juice. Didn't come in a bottle, it came in the fountain and you put your cup and then they put it in and then they gave you the straw. It was the best peach juice ever. And I still dream about it. They still make it, but they do it in um, bottles now and it's not the same. It's just not, I've tried it. But I love peach. Peaches, 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 peaches. Peaches, 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 peaches. I hope that this is good because I am at a place in my life where I will waste money. If I don't like something, I'm not eating it. Like I, for a long time I was like, I hate wasted food, I hate wasted food. It's not worth the calories, honey. If you don't like it, don't eat it. Doesn't matter if you had a restaurant, at your mom's house. Anyway, you're welcome. <laughs> Winnie's eating her alfagetti. She loves it. She just got home from swimming lessons and not even kidding you, she wasn't even in the door five minutes. Thunder started, lightning's going on and it is downpouring. They just closed the pool for the rest of the day. Jasper was so scared. Yes, Jasper was so scared. Poor baby. Anyways, Curtis went to go pick up Sky, they closed the pool for the rest of the day, so he gets to come home. Yeah, eat your soup first, and then you can have a treat, okay? Yeah, Jesse does not handle thunderstorms well. And when he was supposed to start soccer tonight, but I don't think it's gonna happen. But that's okay because um, Curtis's family from PEI is over here, so she's gonna have a wonderful afternoon playing with her cousins. The amount of satisfaction I feel when I try something and it's genuinely delicious. Obsessed. I love this so much. I love it. Wow. I hope the boys don't like it because I want it all to myself. This is Skylar's favorite. And I actually don't like this one at all. We have red. <laughs> Red is disgusting. I think it's called like black cherry or something. Not good. Um, but these are great. They're electrolyte drinks. Here's the nutritional facts if you can even tell. You really can't. Five calories, uh, 140 sodium, one carb, no sugar, no fiber, a little bit of vitamins. Um, but then it's got like a mineral blend which has a whole bunch of things. What's it got? I can, I can actually barely read these. They're so, the words are so tiny. Um, biotin, chillinil, vitamin B12, folic acid, inostol, niacin, prophetic, probophetic, pathronic acid. This is, there's some things in there. I don't need to read them. Mm. You ate all your alphagetti. Good job. This is delish. Mm -hmm. I, I know that you can buy the bio steel in like the cases. They actually have a case of it at our Costco now, but it has colors in it that we know we don't like. So it's kind of a waste. So um, I don't know, and it's kind of fun. You don't have to use a shaker bottle, um, but it works a little bit better if you do. Um, otherwise, you just have to shake it for a really long time. I always add ice. Always add ice. It, it's so, everything's better with ice. Any drink is better with ice, except for coffee, really. 
Although some of you guys like iced coffee. And I'm just over here sipping my black, rich roast, dark coffee with nothing else in it. In its original form. I'm looking tall. We are gonna try the BioSteel Pink Lemonade. Skylar liked the peach that I was having, and Cooper did not. See, mom shake it. Smells good. Smells good. That's the best flavor. That is very good. I just taste like lemonade though. Ready? Yeah, it tastes like lemonade. Good lemonade. Wow. My friend Becky was right. Is it good? Props. Can I try it? Mm hmm. It tastes like pink lemonade. No, I was just I think it tastes a lot. Oh, yeah. It might taste a lot like that. I'm thinking about it. This is a lighter flavor though. That one's a little bolder. That's why I didn't like that one as much. It's good. Mm -hmm. But it tastes a little bit like my gum, so that's a bit of a problem. Why? Next time I won't put gum in it. Good call. Oh. All right. Today was a win, you guys, for sure. This guy's not working the rest of the day. He's still getting paid for that. <clears throat> Soccer's canceled. Everything's canceled. Baseball's it's not canceled. A win. Well, it's a win-ish because we just can stay home yeah. and relax. And play Fortnite and yeah. Minecraft. Yeah, and have a meal. I'm gonna cook. Nice family dinner, some corn on the cob, some chicken. Oh, thanks. Good looking out. All right. That's it, guys. Okay, bye. <laughs> See ya. Bye. <laughs> Cooper.